iOS 17 brought a lot of new features to the iPhone, but some of them are kind of hidden. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you 17 iOS 17 features that you might not know about. Before I get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed my content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, are you looking to boost your Mac's performance? Meet Clean My Mac X, your all-in-one solution as it cleans, removes malware, and optimizes performance to make it faster and like new. Say goodbye to clutter and hello to a faster Mac. If you're interested, make sure to use my affiliate link listed down below in the description. So starting off, you can now look for specific settings in Spotlight Search, which is super convenient. So if I swipe down to access the spotlight and then look for low power mode, for example, you'll see that it pops up immediately. So I can go ahead and enable it or disable it right here. Something else you can now do in Spotlight Search is add events or reminders by typing them right here. So if I type a doctor appointment tomorrow, um, 2 p.m., it automatically gives me this kind of like a notification to go ahead and add this reminder, this event to my calendar. Then I just have to fill everything out and tap on add, which is convenient as well. iOS 17 also brings a new feature to the emoji keyboard because now there is a done button that takes you right back to your keyboard whenever you're done using your emoji or actually adding your emoji. This is great because before this update, we used to have to tap a bunch of times right here to kind of go back to the actual keyboard. So the done button is a lot better. Additionally, shake to undo now works when you're moving apps around. So if I, let's say, moved an application to the wrong place, I can go ahead and shake my iPhone to undo move app and everything goes back to the way it was. Now I have great news for the Apple Watch users out there. If you own an Apple Watch, you probably already know that you have a button right here that allows you to reproduce a sound on your iPhone. So if by any chance you don't know where your iPhone is, you simply tap on this button right here and your Apple Watch helps you find your iPhone. Now there is the same button, but you can actually add it to your iPhone to look for your Apple Watch. I really like that this feature is now available and the only thing you need to do is add it to your control center. So go to settings, tap on control center, and right here you will see the, where is it? Apple Watch, ping my watch. You need to include this setting right here, ping my watch to your control center. And then when you access it and tap on it, it pings your watch. Incredible. Now, for those of you who love to take screenshots on your iPhone and use the markup tool, you will see that now you have more pan options to use it. Um, before you only have, I would say three or four options. It would be the this first one, the third one, this one, I think, and the blue option that is showing up right here. But now you have this new pen right here. And if you swipe left, you see more options showing up. So there's this new one. Let me change the color so it's easier for you guys to see. And this other one right here, it's kind of like a water, watercolor, watercolor, is that how you call it? <laughs> watercolor brush. And besides these new pen options, you also have an easier way to include a text box to your screenshot. Simply tap on the plus sign right here and tap on add shape. I'm gonna choose the square and make it more like a rectangle. And then if you double tap, it will automatically give you the option to add text to it. So let me 
type text. Done. And if you tap on it again, you also have the option to choose if you want it, um, choose the opacity. I'll leave it as 100%. You can also change the color of the text box. So this is an easier way for you to include text to your screenshot. The next setting is related to your passcode. So let's go to settings, tap on face ID and passcode. Here you're going to enter your passcode. And right here at the bottom, you will see it that there is a new option that allows you to use your previous passcode to unlock your iPhone if by any chance you forget the new one. Now, if you don't want to use this option, you can simply tap on expire previous passcode now. Now, I don't know about you, but I've always wanted to set multiple timers on my iPhone, and this was not possible before. So right now you can set multiple timers at the same time on iOS 17, and you can also label them, which was something exclusive to the alarms. So to label a timer, you only need to tap on the plus sign right here, then choose how many minutes you want this timer to be set for, and then you simply label them. So I'm just going to label timer and then you tap on start. iOS 17 also brings a new lookup feature that allows you to check what these laundry care icons mean. So if you open a photo of the laundry items icons on your camera roll and swipe up, you will see the option look up laundry care. Simply tap on it and then you will see a list of all the icons with the explanation right next to it. Something nice related to photos is that if you zoom in a photo, it will give you the option to crop it. So as you can see, there is a crop button right here. If I tap on it, it will immediately crop my photo, which is a lot easier than editing, tapping on crop and everything else. And if you press and hold the crop button, it gives me options to choose the aspect ratio. So I can choose original widescreen or square. Also, whenever you're sharing a photo with someone else, you now have the option to disable the location of that photo before you send it. So if I go ahead and tap on send right here, I can simply tap on options and disable the location. Then I just need to tap on done and go ahead and send the photos. Next, if you like to use the Shortcuts app, you will probably like this feature because you can now create a shortcut to open a specific camera mode. So you can choose from all of these modes right here. And still talking about camera, there is now a new feature that helps you check if your camera is leveled when taking a picture. So let's go to settings, tap on camera and enable level. Now we're going to open the camera and you will see that there is something here. Um, can you see it? An icon in the middle of it that helps you check if your camera is leveled or not. Let me put something black here so you can see. It's easier. This is really helpful when taking a picture. Now, if you use focus modes, iOS 17 now allows you to silence notifications only when your iPhone is locked. So let's say you are using a work focus mode and of course you don't want to receive any notifications, but you do want to receive them if by any chance you took a break and you're now scrolling through Instagram. You can set this to, you can set your iPhone to send notifications if unlocked. So let me access a focus mode. I'm currently using the recording one. So tap on the three dots and tap on settings. Here you're going to tap on options and silence notifications. Mine is set to always because I don't want to receive notifications when unlocked. But if you do simply tap on 
while locked. As you can see, I just received a notification. So I'm going to set to always again because I don't want any notifications, but this is a nice new feature of iOS 17. There are also some new lock screen features that I believe you're going to like. The first one, <laughs> let me exit all of these timers right here. So the first one I think you're going to like because you can now choose how thin or thick you want the font of the clock. So let's edit our lock screen. Press and hold on the lock screen, tap on customize, tap on the lock screen and tap on the clock icon. As you can see, you now have the option to make it thinner or thicker. And you can do this for all the fonts that are available right here. I really like this one. I'm going to keep the way it was, but this is something else that you can now do. Also, if you want to add an image to the lock screen, that is smaller than the screen. Let me choose one right here. So if this image doesn't really fit, if it gets like too zoomed in, if you want to um, fill the whole display, your iPhone now automatically adds a blur to the edge of the image to blend better with the background. And I really like this. Actually, I actually think I'm going to use this because Leo is such a handsome cat. What a distinguished gentleman. I always say this. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so you can now simply zoom out on the photo and the blur will be added automatically. Feature number 16 is screen distance. So basically, there is this new feature that if you enable, your iPhone will let you know if you're holding it too close to your eyes, which will reduce eye strain. We don't want to have any vision problems. So I enabled this feature a few days ago and I've been using it and I realized that I usually hold my iPhone really close to my eyes. So I'm trying to change this. So make sure to go to settings, tap on screen time, screen distance and enable it. So if you hold your iPhone too close to your eyes, it will immediately give you a full screen notification. And last but not least, there are new notification sounds available on iOS 17. So go to settings, sounds and haptics, and you can choose text to tone, for example, and I'm going to show you a few of them. And these are 17 hidden features of iOS 17. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.